Hey there, friends. Happy Wednesday to you. For people who work like in offices and things like that, it's a it's hump day. It's almost Friday. We only have two more days. For people who are freelancers like me, <laughs> it's a Wednesday. But I am I'm happy. I'm happy every day of the week. I, I really, really like Fridays, but you know, I think that every single day I'm blessed to be able to work is a great and cool thing. So happy Wednesday, y'all. I've had a few requests to, um, uh, to do a video that shows how to use uh, a flow-ish style journal. And this is my flow journal that I made for myself. And it's also kind of my experimental model. You know, I'll kind of try things out in this little journal. But I am, um, she's kind of like become a friend to me. And, and that's kind of hard to explain. I love books. And I love reading. And I love the feel of books and how they look. And I, you know, making them is just very, uh, for me, it's like a passion. It's very close to my heart. I am, I'm going to go through my flow journal and kind of decide what I'm going to do. And I'll show you a few things. When you, when you get a flow journal, for me, it, it becomes like this repository of places to put stuff. So, um, you know, we started out with just a basic kind of flow-ish journal, and then I started tucking things in here or there. there. These are some postcards that I made as a donation to a library uh, for my friend. And uh, the last time that I did a video like this, I worked in the first signature, and I think we did some greeting cards and things like that. This is the second signature of the book, and I have a lot of good imagery in here, so I'm kind of thinking that it might be fun to just pull out this signature and work with it. So kind of flipping through here to see, and these are things that I've just stuck in. I, you know, if I find an image that I like or colors that I like, then I'll tend to tear out a whole page of something and just stick it into my flow journal. And that really does personalize your flow journal. It, it gives you, um, it, it makes it, like I said, it makes it kind of your friend. It becomes a, an image gallery or an inspiration gallery. These two things are I scavenged from um, the man who taught me to play guitar. And I must have been about eight years old. And he played fiddle and guitar. But these are um, little postcards that he had that his son gave me when he, uh, when his mom passed away. And it's like a guarantee register card for, for his violin. So very precious little things like that. So if, you know, you can think of your, you can think of your flow journal as a keepsake journal. Um, as a true scrapbook or something like that. Another thing that I really like to do, like I said a while ago, is just pull out a page of a magazine that particularly catches my eye. Now, I have been purging magazines. And in addition to using magazine imagery in my flow journals, I have been tearing out uh, pages from magazines specifically to put into my personal flow journal and use. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm kind of thinking that this might be, this might be the, um, this might be the signature that I want to uh, take out and just do a little bit of play with. Or, yeah, let's do that. Let's just take the whole thing out and then I can show you how to slip it back in. This is great, like if you're going somewhere and you don't want to take your whole flow journal. Of course, taking the whole flow Joe is kind of nice um, because you have all your elements and things to work with. I think I'm going to put that paper clip over here. But this is what your signature looks like when you take it out of your book. I'm going to go through here and just figure out some things to do. I think I would kind of like to make ATCs. And usually there's, uh, you know, there's paper in here that you can cut your two and a half by three and a half ATC from. I've got 
some envelope imagery. I've got text pages, the, the ephemera that I just spoke about. I have a vintage postcard. I have the magazine imagery. I have some funky, like, hmm, textured paper. And I have some painty paper. And I have some uh, embossed kind of velvet paper. Um, but right now, I think I want ATCs. There's one right there. So I'll take that one out. Um, you know, I could cut this or I could cut this. Uh, this is, okay, I thought that was an ATC size, but this is a Rolodex size. Um, oh, okay. Yep, there we go. Got some right there. Mmm, kind of like that paper. So I think I'll take out a paper strip. Um, I have words over here because Michael's had a 25% <laughs> had a off sale items and this little Tim Holtz pack was, I think it cost me all of a buck 25 or something like that. It, and I love, love the words on here. But I've also cut out words and um, so I have a few of those to work with as well. And we have words that were cut from the small strips that are on scrapbook paper, you know, that says the manufacturer's information and gives you, um, you know, gives you reorder information and things like that. So these all came off the, the white strip that's on some scrapbook paper. And I like that too. Sometimes I will run across imagery that just, I love the colors. And that's what happened here and then the word place just kind of dropped into dropped into play all right let's move our signature out of the way and let's kind of figure out what we're gonna do here all right so we've got one two three four little ATCs to work with um, that's cool uh, hmm I think it's okay, so I could use this side or this side or even do both sides, doesn't really matter. Um, I also kind of like that, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this for just right now. And let's see what we can do. So those, those, those colors are cool. Um, hmm. I think I want to pull out, I kind of want to pull out this magazine page because it's got a lot of cool focal imagery on it. When I pulled the page out of the magazine, like I said, I was purging, purging. I don't like a lot of stuff. If I have too much to choose from, I do not make good decisions about. And it, instead of choosing, if I have too much stuff, then I can't choose an image. I can't choose anything. There's too much to choose from. It's a big, it's a big quandary. Um, for me, limiting, limiting my supplies really does work for me. It might not work for you. I'm just saying that that's kind of the way I do things. I, I don't like a lot of clutter. It, it confuses my head. My head is confused enough as it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can use in here. kind of love that paper, so I think I might just tear off a little bit of that. I might use that. And I like this painty paper as well. Mm, anything else? I kind of like that lion, too. I kind of like that lion, you know. He's cool. I'm a Leo girl, so I like things like that. There we go. So we've got that. I would kind of like to have some like border strips. Some. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Cool. I'll put some border strips back here. <clears throat> okay. So we're ready to start. You know, let's just let's just figure this one out first. And. I think I'm going to look in here and see if I have anything that I especially want to work with as far as imagery goes. I have a glue stick and I do have some tacky glue and I have, um, I have some scissors right here. 
So simple setup, y'all. Not not a whole lot to this. I kind of like this image here. And I think it would go well on the front of this card. This is quite lovely. It's just like a like I said, it's just an image from a magazine. So of course, this is not something like you can sell. This is something you know, don't don't use imagery and then sell it. This is just a fun thing for you to do. Nothing. I'm grabbing, grabbing a little bit. A little bit uh, ink pad just to kind of ink that down a little bit. No biggie. If you don't have an ink pad, don't worry about it. Yeah, I kind of like her a whole lot. I do think she needs something on kind of like going the other way. Mm. I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I do like the way that looks. That kind of offsets the kind of offsets the other bubbles that we got going on here. Whoops. I did not grab a scrap piece of paper to I'll just use this. Oh look, I found another image. <laughs> it's nice. Okay. Let's put this right here. You can also see that it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. This is something you can, you know, if you have um, if you have a doctor's appointment or something like that, you don't have to take the signature out of the book either. You can just leave the signature in the book. And then when you're called for your appointment, you can just fold everything, fold everything back together. This is a little crooked, but I don't care. Still looks cool. Offset her. Mm, I like that. And remember, this is this is for you. Don't don't sell other people's imagery. And I think I'm gonna use the word connect. I had internet trouble this week, and oh my lord, it was not easy to connect. That kind of seems to be something that is an ongoing problem with me. <laughs> with me. Uh, computers, whoa, you know, love them, hate them. Uh, they are my business, so I kind of have to like them. Okay, so there we go. There's one done. Let's grab this one. See what we, I kind of like the blue that I showed you a while ago where I was just choosing colors and nothing else. I really wasn't, wasn't thinking about anything else, but Here's a little image right here, and I think these are from Scrapbook Magazine or something like that. Yeah, that looks cool. I do think I'm going to tear this, but I'm not going to ink it. Let's get a little dimension here. Grab my glue stick. It's very inspirational to, to look at those magazines, um, but sometimes magazines, mm, I, I am never going to be in a magazine. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just, um, I'm just not that perfect, you know, I'm, I'm very haphazard, half the things I do are crooked. Um, but the thing is that I enjoy creating, so I, I, I don't want to be complicated, you know, I don't want 15, 20, 25 steps to something, but I do find that the, the imagery in magazines is, is, is beautiful, and I love to use it like this, um, but I'll never, you know, not going to be in a magazine. Um, I totally admire people who are. But that's not going to be me, y'all. 
And we'll use the word place right here. You can tell how very haphazard this is cut as well. Like I said, I was purging, I was going through, I was cutting, I was not thinking about it. Maybe that's it. I don't think about what I'm doing. I, I, I have fun with it. I, I don't think about it a whole lot. If I think about it a whole lot, then everything just goes down the, the tubes. I, I, I don't like to think about things a whole lot. I realize I'm rambling. <laughs> it's late at night and I've, I've been up a very long time today. Okay, so we've got a couple fun little ATCs done. I like both of those. Let's do one more and then we'll slip our ATCs into our signature and our signature back into the book. I hope that I can get it back in there. Uh, I like this. So I'm going to use this because this is some lined paper. It looks like maybe, you know, it's from an office, like Office Ephemera. And I love Office Ephemera. I grew up in offices. My dad had an office. Um, a lot of my first jobs were as an office worker. And I remember, you know, all that, all that ephemera, all of that. Oh, sorry, y'all. All of the, you know, the index cards, the invoices, the try, you know, the, the three-part invoices, things like that. I mean, stuff like that's just cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see. I like this blue that's going on here. You see that blue that's kind of peeking around there? So I think I'm going to put... This little strip here. And honestly, I can get lost in this. I can sit here for long periods of time and just play and play and play. And that's really what it's about, isn't it? You remember when you were a kid and I mean, you, did, you, did, you didn't even hear your mama calling you? <laughs> Because you were just, you were playing, man. You were like into your little element there. And that's, that's kind of what I feel like a lot of times when I do this. And gosh, don't we need that? Don't we need to disconnect, put that telephone down, turn that TV off, you know, and just play, play, play. You don't have to be in a magazine. You don't have to be famous. You don't have to, you know, you don't need be famous to you, you know, do things you like. Um, you are creative. You are an artist. Everybody is an artist. Pablo Picasso said everyone is, all children are artists until the art is just forced out of them. So you're born an artist. Hey, I like that. Hey, I like the typewriter. Let us see. What are we going to do with that one? Oh, I love the word captivating. I think I'm going to use that right there. Now again, these are off the white strip, uh, you know, when you have scrapbooking paper and you cut off that white strip, then they're always really cool words there. If you just kind of look, we've got a captivating, we've got fetching, we've got worth remembering. Oh, and now I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, mm-hmm, that's it. Sorry, captivating, we'll use you. We'll use you later. There we go. Worth remembering. I like that. All right, guys. Now let's tidy up here a little bit. I'm going to set these off to the side. I'm very happy with them. Kind of move things over so we can get back to our signature and replace our signature in our book. Remember, this was just a magazine page and I'm going to um, I'm not going to work on this anymore tonight. I've got a lot of stuff that I still need to do. And I'm just going to tuck my little scraps back in here. And that went in our signature. I wanted to put that in my signature. I didn't use that, so I'll, I'll scooch that in there as well. I'll keep my words separate because I just usually do. I kind of keep a little stack of words. Speaking of words, today I went by to pick up another another one of these because 
gosh darn, it's just crazy cheap. And <laughs> I ran in, I got it, I got it home, and then I put it on my desk and I saw Learning to Fly. And I tell you, I just started missing Tom Petty all over again. And he was a wonderful storyteller. <laughs> so cool, you know, like little Devon things that happen to you. All right, we're gonna put a paper clip right here. We're gonna reconstruct. We're gonna reconstruct our signature. And then I'm gonna put the signature back in the book. And then we'll stick in our ATCs. Now, I hope this goes well. <laughs> I've never tried to stick one in in the middle before, but let's see what happens. All right. So there we are. And this, this signature is pretty stuffed. I think what I'm going to do is take out some of the smaller things and just kind of slot in like this, and then I'll re... I'll re reattach the smaller things that we got going on there. Okay, so I'm just lift up on the string. You can slide back in. Okay. Remove your hairy paper clip because she does not want to slide under there. There we go. And now I can put these two things back in here. Like that. Okay. Whew. I'm glad that that worked out. That was kind of scary there for a minute. All right, I'm going to use a paper clip to put my ATC in there. She says connect. I love that. And let's find a place for this one. This one might fit in the envelope that I tore the lion stamp off of. So that works out really well. I like to see that one peeking through. That was kind of cool. All right, and we've got one more to stick somewhere. Mm, okay, we've got that there. Oh, perfect. There we go. So three little ATC cards. You can see how easy it is to work in a flow journal with minimal supplies. Um, I, have, I used some scissors and a glue stick. And I did use just a tiny bit of an ink pad. And this is something that you don't even have to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for asking about um, lessons in how to use a flow journal. I will be doing more of these as, as time goes on because my work at the farm is ending on October 31st and that gives me lots of time to be creative. All right, guys, I appreciate you joining me. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.